Hello, it's Sarah. I wanted to do a share of my mosaic that I just fin I didn't just finish it. It's been a while. I needed a break. I'm trying to gather supplies for, or not supplies, pieces that I'm going to sell at this craft show on Saturday. <sighs> anyway, I just wanted to take a break. But um, anyway, so let's see. This is the IKEA frame that I shared with you guys. You can get these fully, like they're already finished. I couldn't get the tag off, but I'm keeping it. And this is the mosaic. Um, I'll put, um, I'm going to put a piece, a couple pieces of, uh, paper over the mirror, but what I love about it is it's the stained glass, man. The stained glass, it's so shiny. So the other videos I've shared so far of my, um, mosaics have been, I've been doing a lot of pieces that have the pre-cut, um, a lot of it's glass, but sometimes it's like, uh, what is it called? Uh, ceramic or things like that. So anyway, this has a little bit of mirror. Um, some of those little gems that you can get in the craft store. I gathered up a bunch of blue ones of those. I used three millifloris that matched. And I went with all blue. So I went in the basement and I just found a few different pieces of blue. And um, where did I, I was going to show you, um, cut them into kind of manageable size strips like this. So like, you know, about an inch. So this right here is, I think, this kind. Right here I put it. And I just started playing. I also used the ball chain. Remember, that's what I, I saw a bunch of different pieces on Pinterest. That's what inspires me. I go to Pinterest. And I ended up getting... This is the number 10, which is quite large, and I'm, I'm going to play with this as well. I think I, I totally have something in mind for that. This that I used on here is the number 6, and it worked pretty good because I did use stained glass, and that is kind of like, it's about the same gauge in width. So, in other words, when I grouted, only on this piece because I did use this glitter tile which was this stuff I got this in in sheets of like I forget how many but I cut these down this glitter they're like one inch that's actually two different colors um, so you can tell that it's a little deeper in there so I kind of had to dig out I had to dig out the grout in that area, but other than that, it was really nice because this ball chain and the stained glass are right about the same size. So it's only where I had the, the glitter glass. It was much thicker. See, this is like much thicker. I mean, it's millimeters, so it's not, you know, it's, it's kind of, and I love mixed media, so obviously the little... The gems are bigger too, so and then these little pieces, they're a bit thicker. The millifloury, it's definitely a little thicker, but I didn't do any ball chain around that. But you have to kind of just pull the grout down. Um, but yeah, that's what I love about working with the stained glass, and I have a ton of it, so I'm gonna do this some more. Um, like I'd like to make another frame using reds and oranges and yellows, you know, and do some warm colors. Some, but this one I just did all blues. I had already put this shiny, these were pre-made tiles. Um, they're glass and they are finished with like an iridescent finish. I had already kind of framed it out with that and then I just wanted to use the ball chain. That's kind of how the inspiration happened. And then the, the mirror too. Again, I just took some mirror that I had in the basement, like a sheet of mirror, and cut it into manageable um, strips and then I cut from there. Um, but like, see, you can buy these in the craft stores and I popped this out of a different project, a polymer clay project that I had. But like, I could put that on there too. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to be doing this. This is going to be my, I'm going to really have fun with this because I think I know enough now that I'll be able to really, I, I have some good ideas for this and I think I'm going to use the big ball chain because I want it to be like the star of the show in a couple ways and you can also do the sides, so I'm going to be doing the sides and the front, and I'm going to have fun with that. Um, but I might put another piece of mirror on it, you know what I mean, and then design around that. 
Um, so that's it. I just wanted to share. I really, really like it. I'll probably keep this one. Like I said, it's it's on an Ikea. And maybe, because I'm having a craft show, I'm really struggling with what to charge for things. How, like, does it look finished enough? Um, all that stuff. And the thing is, craft shows are hard. Like, I, I just found some beads that I made a long time ago. I might as well share these real quick. I used to love, 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 love. Oh! God, I don't even know what that was. Swarovski crystal. Oh, it was a jar that I keep glue in um, to base coat those things. I don't think it broke. It's fine. Um, so these are Swarovski crystals. Let me, I'll come in close. Let's see if I can get something uh, to put in the background. Oh, I know what to use. My little bead. Um, of a lore thing but I used to love Swarovski crystals so I just came across a ton look at this it's like a bag full of jewelry that I made that I would sell at a craft show but I'm gonna keep these I'm I kept these aside because I actually this was one I, I just need to take because this is sterling silver these beads these little um, end caps so I'm gonna get um, my polishing cloth and I'll polish this up a little bit but I happen to be wearing black today so I just put the because I had this one on um, and then I just figured that kind of matched my little thing but this is just purple Swarovski crystals and silver with a toggle this I would want to restring because I just don't tr it's been a while since I made these and I think the plastic um, the elastic cording gets a little bit um, old you know so you should probably restring them but look at this one this I'm sure this piece was inspired because these silver and I don't think these are Swarovski these are probably uh, check check glass check polish glass but it had like a gold end on there can you see that so I just picked beads to kind of these gold these are probably gold filled beads and just made a design but I love it like I really I'm gonna keep this for myself um I I need to restring it again that's all but it's just delicate so it was fun I've been coming up with a lot of um I came across all my old um canvases that I made like I'm not gonna bring them I have so much stuff I've been in this craft room for how many years now 10 years. I mean, I've always created, but with all this type of stuff. Um, so I'm just going to pull, I'm going to bring my mandalas, a couple of um, the mosaics that I just finished, those mirror mosaics that I just shared with you guys. Um, and I'm also sharing the table, the space with another artist. So we'll have plenty. Um, so it'll be fun. Anyway, I hope you guys are staying creative. Um, and everything's going well. And as always, thanks for watching.